I can remember a time still in the electrical wholesalers listening to a domestic and industrial electrician going at one another about which brand of consumer unit was best. And once the tea machine had been depleted and complimentary biscuits were consumed, each would leave with a flea in the rear and be no closer to an agreement. Myself as a domestic and industrial electrician had my own views and I can remember the day when Fusebox hit the wholesale shelf in its bright pink box, RCBOs and SPDs as standard and a layout which made terminating the boards a real joy. So the domestic spark in me made the move and I've never looked back. And I wasn't the only one. Fusebox quickly became the fastest growing consumer unit on the market with electricians taking to social media to show off their works of art which the Fusebox consumer unit allowed. So when I heard that Fusebox were making a move into the commercial and industrial world, it got my attention. So much so I went out and got one so I could have a look. I was worried though. I loved the single phase consumer unit so much. I had to ask myself, would this addition to the range live up to the expectation? So let's take a look. Well out of the box, the distribution board feels solid and really well packed for those cluttered industrial environments. And you may have noticed the box isn't pink, which makes it easier to identify between the single phase and three phase versions. That, and this one's much bigger of course. Opening up the board, we have your four pole isolator and type two SPD as standard, which is great that Fusebox have maintained that as part of their standard kit. These boards go all the way up to 16 weights, so circuit capacity is definitely not going to be an issue. But if you do need more weights, then hang on until the end of the video where I'll show you how Fusebox have a solution for this. One small but really helpful feature that Fusebox provide is those spare screws for the lid. So if like me, you have that mystical ability to drop a screw and it finds itself into the smallest, most inaccessible hole on site, you're not gonna to need to self tap this one shut. It's almost like they've designed this with the electrician in mind. And look what happens when you do remove the screws. Look at that. This is great. No longer do you need two hands and a knee and your chin to remove the lid. Even with the counterweight of the door itself, it stays in place. A really thoughtful design feature. We even have these plastic stop ends so you don't get the rattle of the board when you close it. Another really nice touch. Fusebox consumer units were known for their generous space and well thought out layouts. Diving into this board, we can see this continues. Electricians who like to leave boards looking like a Bob Ross landscape can continue to do so in here. There is a mountain of space to run steel wide armoured, singles and PVC alike. And Fusebox has even aligned the earth and neutral bar so they can sweep in together, making it easy to identify and leaving them looking like happy little trees. Sorry, CPCs. But what stands out for me is how tough this thing is. I've had it for a few days now and even let some electrical apprentices have a swing at it and it's even stood up to that abuse. Fusebox have spot welded the corners and tops and that shows this board has been made and designed to a really high standard and it makes it feel like it could take a real kicking. Enough of that though, let's look at the installation of it. Top and bottom and we can remove the plates which leaves this really nice cutout and nice rounded edges. So no grommet strip needed. That's perfect if you're installing this with trunking above as your cables can just drop in. Equally, you can drill out for your cable entries and conduits. And you may have noticed those plates have no knockouts. Now this might divide opinion amongst the electrical community, but for me, I think it's great as our cable entries are not governed by the board, but rather the installation. If you had conduits coming in on both distance and space of our saddles, you're not having to set your conduits to meet the knockouts. Alternatively, you can clone your conduit set to make for a speedier and neater install. But that's my view. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Here's another thoughtful touch, which I wish all distribution boards had. You have these pan end stops, which keep your protected devices in line. Now that might not seem interesting now, but when we come to put the lid back on, it keeps all your devices in line so you don't get snagged behind the lid and reduces wiggling it about to get it on. A really nice touch. So your standard fuse box protective device, including MCBs and RCBOs, AFDDs and SPDs all fit in the board and Fusebox have added to their range of protective devices with 10 kA short circuit capacity available in type B and C. Even better, Fusebox's 6 kA devices will fit into the board so no hardware change is required between the consumer unit range and distribution board range. But is that even a realistic product feature being able to carry 6 kA devices which we would associate more with the domestic market? Well, let's think about where industry is moving. 
you may have found yourself going to more and more domestic installations where the DNO is installed a three-phase supply. In fact, several DNOs doing all new connections like this as standard to allow for EV charging and prosumer installations and to balance loads across the network. And this board won't look out of place in someone's home. Domestic electricians will find themselves more and more entering a three-phase world as we move towards electrification and greener technologies. And the fuse box distribution board is ready for that. Perhaps though on an installation it's only single phase and your customer wants to future-proof the install with PV and EV in mind. Well, Fusebox have a solution for that as well with this single phase conversion comb, which neatly fits into the incoming supply so your customer is ready for the move to three phase and is not paying again for another upgraded board. Once the install is finished, the terminations can be nipped up easily and safely with clear torque settings marked out. So back to Fusebox's solution to need in more ways. They have made these units stackable. Removing this top exposes these buzz bar terminations so we can connect to the board above and because the lids are recessed within the unit we don't need to space them apart. This is a great piece of kit with some really well thought out features. If it's quality, durability and adaptability that you're after then you're not going to go far wrong with the fuse boxes range of three phase and neutral distribution boards. You can find out more about this great board on the Fusebox website or head down to your local Fusebox stockist and take a look for yourself. That's it from me, so it's bye-bye for now.